It's uh, exciting to be here and talk about esports. We have a quite long history, actually, without even us uh, knowing it, to be honest. First engagement with esports was back in 2007, it was about 12 years ago, when we had a, a bar, a very futuristic white bar called Stereo in the old town of Tallinn. Back then it was the first LED screens that we installed in a bar and then we had also uh, the consoles for playing uh, FIFA games. And it became really popular. And a lot of people played, spent time, went to the bar. It was a very unique uh, combination of a bar and, 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 and playing consoles for adults. From there on we, we organized some tournaments. It was very successful. We uh, actually uh, organized the whole uh, exercise together with our football club. It was quite a long time ago also uh, for the football club it was new. We brought fans with the buses between the, the two uh, events and it really worked. Uh, from there on we moved to uh, Arigado Sports Center which is a, a training uh, center for Calio where we have our youth trainings. And we built uh, a small experience center there with uh, different rides for children, with different uh, small playing grounds and we also had uh, a digital world. We had a, a bunch of playstations installed and uh, it was great because the kids who came to training sessions, their parents, they all used the consoles and they played there. So basically from there on already we, we had a first engagement with the esports and now in the year 2019 it was only logical to take the next step so we actually formed the esport department in a football club and we are super excited about it. We also uh, are lucky to get a new partner, 24-hour production, who actually has uh, a lot of experience uh, in Europe also. Of course, uh, with other games, uh, esports games, but they are professional uh, production team who is helping us to, to put the whole new uh, department together. We must recognize one thing, the world around us is changing so uh, and we have two options go with the change or ignore it and uh, at this time being also the member of European Club Association and uh, I'm an honor to be uh, also part of the the marketing and communication working group and on our table one thing is esports so I really can tell you that uh, all the European clubs now are getting involved more and more with esports because everyone understands that we need to go with the changes. The world is changing, we are changing, there is a new, completely new audience forming in esports. When we talk about only the, the EA sports, uh, we only talk about EA sports, there is about more than 100 million players playing only one game. And we must understand that uh, these are football fanatics, they are fans, they are people worldwide who love football. Not even talking about other games. I think it's a great tool uh, for football to uh, connect the two uh, communities, the virtual community with the reality. And to build something in a new scene, in a new uh, esports scene. And to reach new audiences, new target groups, build your brand in, in a different way as a global brand. And I think for a small country like Estonia, this gives a huge opportunity because we always lack of infrastructure, we always lack of uh, different uh, tools that a normal football club needs to be competitive, money, uh, not enough people on the stadiums. So we are kind of limited from our uh, uh, country size of being successful and esports gives a new opportunity for that so we, we have no borders we can actually go and compete with anyone in the world and we only need to be professional of what we are doing so I think it's a, it's a digital turn in Estonian football and I'm super excited that we are following the path now. How we plan? I think uh, there is different stages uh, that we, of course, will, will, will take in different steps. Of course, first of all, we formed uh, the eSports department. We came out with the news. From there on, we also started to form the eSport, eFootball team, uh, with a quite uh, unique concept that we have a plan to uh, have about five or six players, Estonian players, in the squad, plus players from abroad, from Latvia, Lithuania, from Sweden, Finland, 
because we are not just targeting the Estonian market. We are thinking more globally. We are thinking that it's, it's, it's a global exercise. We are reaching out to the Baltics, to Europe and worldwide. So I think uh, because we don't have borders, we need to think out of the box. Also, we're going to start to organize tournaments. Uh, our aim is to start uh, a commercial tournament together with a football club on the match days. Also, we plan to start a league and uh, why not also have international big commercial events uh, that are international in Tallinn in the future. Uh, in our stadium, we are now planning to uh, open uh, an experience center. And another unique thing that I think helps also a lot with the ecosystem uh, of Estonian esports is that we are forming youth training groups for e-football, just as normal training groups for normal football. And when people think about esports, that it's a bit uh, grey area where I don't know kids play uh, in front of the TV screens and they don't exercise and they gain weight and and their eyes become bad. The visual, I think it's not true. Uh, the professional esports combines real sports, uh, nutrition, and and also uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, together as a total, so I think it's definitely not something that we need to worry about as parents, uh, vice versa, and I think the game itself and the sports will soon be maybe part of the Olympic Games. Uh, I'm really, really sure that this is the future and also already now the top players are earning millions already with eSports, so basically it's the same thing as a normal football player will be professional and get his football education, build his career as a player and he will secure uh, his life with certain income, same with esports. So this is one exercise that we are doing and I think of course uh, at the end of the day it gives a total new uh, opportunity for us as a, as, a, as a marketing tool. So we're going to definitely start to market esports, we're going to create a lot of unique content uh, and I think it's also going to help the normal football activities to grow. So these are the basic, uh, basic steps that we plan to take uh, in the near future and I think these are only the first few steps. Where it would take us? Well, it's the a, it's a, it's a biggest question. It's the biggest question. I think uh, we can only uh, fantasize about things, what will happen in the future. Where would football be in the next 50 years? Do we have physical football teams or we have virtual reality? Maybe we have virtual teams, hologram teams playing uh, against each other. Maybe it's esports that's taken over. We don't know that. But one thing is for sure uh, esports is a global sport and it gives Estonian football club, Kalju, a huge, a huge opportunity to actually position ourselves next to the biggest football brands in the world, like Ajax, like Real Madrid. Just name it. Because if we are good in this, we can reach out to them immediately and play with them and compete with them as equals. Also, what we read and see and the whole esport market is changing, it's almost the same as, as big football. You know, players are on contracts, players will be transferred, there is uh, transfer money involved, there is uh, normal exercises that we see in big football are starting to apply also on eSports. So I think when you talk about the future of eSport, it's basically the same as we see today in, in big football. And what we see in big football, we don't know. Maybe eSport will take over in the next 50 or 100 years. So it's an exciting time to live and I'm very excited to be part of it. And I think it's going to be a great road and a great uh, experience. And I'm really excited to see where it takes us. And where it takes us and I hope uh, we will reach the highest uh, goals that we have set in the club. Thank you.